Hey everybody, Rick here, Arizona High Desert Homestead. We just unloaded it from the truck. This is the Red Energy Lycan 5000. Look at that crate they put it in. So, I don't know if my son's got a knife. So we'll have to cut those straps and then it's got the clasps at the bottom. And what we're doing is we're just putting it on a pallet right now and we're gonna build a, something around it on the pallet. Cause we still gotta jack these things up. And we'll build a permanent house for it. But that way you can at least start using this. And if you see that little thing in the background, it's a Starlink antenna dish. I gotta hurry up and finish that video. I lost a bunch of footage of it. And uh, gotta start all over. <laughs> but I'll be mounting that up on the kitchen. So, I'll wait for him to find something to get these straps. A lot of times you just find the closest tool. <laughs> When you're living off grid, you get excited about stuff like this. That's like, that's a nice crate. You can use it for something. You know, it looks like it's got two on two sides and then one on the sides. All right. I'll see if he can do it himself. If not, I'll have to put the camera down. Drum roll. Damn. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's on wheels. Go ahead. This will be for the blooper reel. I don't know what's holding it up. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to stop recording. Wow, this thing is huge. Um,. I mean, for the portable market, but it's, what's the dry weight on just the unit? 64. 264 pounds, so it's, it's a little more heavier than the Blue Eddy's 2K model, which is uh, 66 pounds. This is the actual first look. Everything built into it. Got the built-in Bluetooth module. Let's see here. Oh, I like the little spring load. Oh, I was expecting metal for the price. It has a double set of breakers for 20 amp, double set of breakers for 30 amp. And then a double set of brake, 20 amp breakers for the AC input. Okay. This is one mean machine. It's got keys down there. Our keys for this is probably in the box. No, I guess it's not locked. Look at those batteries. Holy crap. 48 volt, 50 amp hour battery. Another 48 volt 50 amp battery and over here is the solar input oh cool it's got two connections awesome okay there. That. that must be where the cord plugs in for the AC input and there's the communication and I, I'm sure this is the port because you can link these up to 19 point something you can keep adding on their batteries um, there's other ways around that though too uh, 48 volt 100 amp hour it's rated for 4.8 kilowatts I don't know why I read 5.1 um, AC output, you know, the 120. 
3500 watt inverter peak imp output of 7000 and the solar input voltage range 60 to 145 MPPT voltage range 60 to 115 maximum input power this is for solar 4400 watts that's freaking awesome this thing charges extremely fast um, the maximum battery charge current 80 amps um, operating temperature minus 10 to minus 50 that's all in Celsius I believe minus 10 I want to say it's 14 degrees and 50 I think is a hundred and 120 I'm just pulling that out of my minus 14 degrees no not minus minus 10 Celsius zero Celsius is 32 degrees oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'll look up all the information here in the next clip. Just get this. This is the first look as we're looking at it. Comes with the manual. I always like it. Renegy always puts their stickers. Oh, cool. Does have a handle. And it's got the cables here. This is the AC cable 12 gauge, 10 feet. Waterproof housing, got all that good stuff. And there's a desk pack. Hey, great little hack. Save these when you get them. Put them in your toolbox. You ever get rusty tools from humidity and stuff like that? No, save all your little um, desiccant packs. And trust me, cool little cheap hack. Reuse everything you can. All right. It's got the one handle on this side. There's the AC input. It's right there. The plug. Okay. And the other handle. I don't know what that other handle's for. Oh, yeah. There we go. I didn't see the, the holes. It's got the locking wheels, which is good. So it's kind of portable. You can roll it around. All right. Let's see here. Spring-loaded. here nice it's plexiglass let's look at the brains here real quick now this one is locked I would but I'll have to find the key I want to open that up and I'm hoping the keys in with the hardware all right take a look okay so on the one handle that's hooked up on all the input and output side here, we got the keys zip tied. I'll cut those off and then I'll open this up. Right now, my son's been using the EcoFlow Delta, which is what 1.2, 1.268 kilowatt hours. Um, Let's see, we got two breakers, one breaker for the solar, another breaker for the solar. It's got the main breaker for the battery, and there's the surge protection, all the settings right there. I love the Bluetooth link up. I think everything should be standard, come with Bluetooth link up to your phone. That way you can just be sitting on the couch watching TV. It's always interested. Look at it, see how your power situation is going. You know, any alerts, alarms, stuff like that. And putting on the other, other handle. I'm excited about that crate. They use three quarter plywood for that. Wood's not cheap, let alone three quarter. We'll use that for something. And we will take it off of this here in a second. Okay, we gotta set up some solar panels. Um, actually, we gotta start building the, the walls that are gonna go around this. Remember when you're using power equipment on stuff? Very gentle. Yeah, I was telling them not use them. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, be very gentle. 
There's a lot of things that say don't use the power equipment because most people just a lot of torque and some of the power tools. The Milwaukee is actually really good. I used to love DeWalt back in the day, but they just don't make DeWalt like they used to. They kind of rode their own coattails and cut the quality. I still own some DeWalt stuff, but it's Milwaukee. I got the DeWalt 20 volt and these Milwaukee 18 volt red lithiums. Awesome tools. All right. So, I'll come back here in this next clip. We'll hook it up to a generator first, see if we can charge it up and then test it out. Okay, we got it off that crate piece that was on the bottom. That bracket here, I should have known, that's the ground. So I do have grounding rods. We got grounding rods. I'll make sure I ground it. So these things you turn and they got a little spring in them. I really like that. It just seems cleaner, tighter. Okay. The solars, I'm not gonna turn that breaker on. There's the battery breaker. On. Nothing's lighting up. Turn on that. Okay. Yeah, it looks like she's drained. So we'll hook up the AC power to it right now right for now because we gotta string the, the panels. Here's the input. So I'm gonna turn the battery off for now. Get this on. All right, we'll get this hooked up and see if it does anything. All right, I'm gonna refilm this little part. So what I had to do to get it to charge, um, inside this unit when you open up there and, and there, the inverter, you'll see it inside, on the. it'll be on the left. There's a rocker switch on the right hand side of it underneath and then on the back side there's a on each of the batteries there is a button on each one you hold it down for one second to turn it on you hold it down for three or more and it'll turn it off so when it was all it's just shut off right now for the most part um well, let's see the ac inverter when it's charging that uh, will be a solid yellow like that and then the charge will be a flashing green. But we're going to totally top this off with the solar panels um, within the next couple of days. So, so far, I've got five panels ready to go. I'm going to put, let's see, uh, it takes 4,400 watts of imp solar input, two strings, so that's 2,200 watts. Uh, let's see, so that would be 10, no, 8, because I got 250 watt panels. It'll be 9 panels in one string, and then I'll make another string. I need to get more brackets, so Z brackets, I love them so far. Um, and in a future video, I'll put the, put the link. Uh, very impressed with them. And we're good, so I got to get those mounted on the roof. Apologize for the wind. I just wanted to hurry and make this clip because I lost lost it in the transfer process. Operator error. Yeah, I'll be getting those up there, and we got a lot of stuff going on. We'll be jacking these up. Yeah, so I got to mount this on top of the kitchen. That's Starlink, baby. Um, let me tell you, it rocks. If you're not on the list, get on the list now. Trust me. I got the video I'm working on for that as well. So, all right, that's it for this clip.
Okay, hopefully the wind isn't too much. I don't have my wind mic. Got the Z brackets. So far we've done five panels. Need to do five more, but I only have enough to do eight. So I need to order some more Z panels. I want to put ten panels up there. Or eight or nine. Um, for the... The Renogy Lycan. Uh, 4,400 watts. The total solar input is two strings. So 2,200 watts. I gotta figure it out. So got it mostly charged up last night, but he doesn't want to use it until we get the uh, solar hooked up so we can charge all the way. But it, it worked like a champ. So this is just the first part. Uh, it's gonna be another follow-up part soon. It's just extremely busy, but so far it's amazing. It's heavy. I wouldn't take it camping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it works really, really well. It's very impressive. Very clean construction. They use high quality materials. Uh, Ranergy, if you're watching this, you got to sponsor me. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, this is going to be a short one on this one. I lost some other footage. Uh, i got to get my other camera up and going. My new camera. It's got to find my SD card for it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification because we're going to do a bunch more on these. Follow up on this. This is just part one. So, yep. Yeah. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. All right, take care. Peace.